Welcome back to TNJ Nursery. So today, as I showed you in a previous video where I showed you the breadfruit tree, the dwarf breadfruit tree, the container grown, dwarf breadfruit tree is fruiting. So today, I'm going to remove the breadfruit and the additional flower. Why? Because I want the tree to focus on producing more limb and producing more root. Yeah? I already know that this dwarf breadfruit tree is capable of producing fruit. Why? Because it was done by me, an expert in grafting fruit trees. As you can see, the dwarf breadfruit tree is fruiting and it's also producing more flowers. So, and here's another flower. So, today I'll be removing the flower, the breadfruit, and the additional flowers. Okay? Because I want the tree to focus on producing more limbs and have a better root structure So I'll be removing the, the floor And this is the, the breadfruit floor So this is what is used to pollinate this breadfruit eh? So this is already pollinated, it's getting bigger each and every day now I don't want to take it too big and break the tree. Why? Because the tree is not big enough. See? The stem is still small. So I want the stem to get thicker. And it produces more root and fill out the container. The container is about 12 inch tall. So now I'm going to remove the, the other floor. Okay. And this here is the other floor. This is a stain. So now I'm going to remove the breadfruit. So the plant can focus on producing more root and more stem and here's the breadfruit guys it's as simple as that I want the tree to focus on producing more limb and producing more root instead of focus on producing fruit because I already know that it can produce fruit due to the fact it's a dwarf plant subscribe if you like this video guys and let me know what video you want me to do next comment in the comment section bye from tnj nation all right